Peter Galaxy, an 85 rated goalkeeper, is available for free. Guys, this might just transform our club and get us straight back to the Premier League. He's 33, probably will give us a couple of good seasons. Do we make it happen? We might just have enough wages to pay him, but it's going to be tricky. Getting a new keeper, is that the play? I was asking you guys in the comments, and it seemed like more than a centre-back, you guys think a keeper would be game-changing. So, you know what? Let, let's let's do it. Galaxy is available for free. An 85 rated goalkeeper. I don't think we should say no to that. I just... Nah, man, I don't think we can say no to that. So let's sign him. This will probably be our final signing of the window. Peter Galaxy. We're, we're doing this. We're, we're, we're actually doing this. Okay. Just do it. Recommended wage. 32,500. Okay, now. A one-year deal. Come on. Give me a little bit better than that. I don't want to be fighting contracts. Two years. That's more like it. No release clause. He's willing to take a big pay cut. What a legend. Good man. He's accepted that 16,500. That's all we're paying for an 85 rated keeper. That's literally our highest rated player. I remember signing Boot. Oh no, Bolton. It's still Blake Bolton. And my apologies. Blake Bolton is still uh, the man for the job. Unreal. We've actually signed Galaxy. Yo, if we don't get the, the like promotion to the Premier League, I'll be shocked now. What a signing this is. We're not signing anyone else unless I can find more free agent deals, which is highly unlikely. But let's see. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be possible because we still have a bit of cash left. We get another center back. I reckon the team is ready for even maybe the Premier League. So let's see. All right, this is how we search. Free agent, center back. Let's go. All right, already Gabriel Acuna. Nah, he's worth only 275,000. He's average. Honestly, anyone better than a 68 overall would make sense for us, I guess, in a way. So we just got to be smart about finding that player. Okay, what is this guy's hairstyle like? Is, is he straight out of like some 80s? rock event or something like what i like your kaji yo david carrizo i'm gonna put him on the short list because he actually looks decent argentinian as well i looked through all the free agents and i'm not gonna lie it's the argentinian looking like the best one by a m big margin as well and we could get him for a really cheap contract he's worth like nine hundred thousand. i think he would be 70 plus overall so let's take a chance get that center back signing as well what a start we're having today's episode of the how to get series remember we're in the championship this season five year rotation squad Quad role. It all depends on what his overall and all looks like. We'll we'll give him a bit better on the contract front because because I don't want him getting pissed about it. I was getting a clean sheet bonus as well. We could have avoided that. Anyways, David Carrizo, the Argentinian. Think it's a class signing? Depends on his overall. So Carrizo is 68 rated. Same as the center back we have. Have we taken an L? Probably not because he'll grow into a better player. But these are the signings we've made this season. Ray Menage, Bernard, Ceballos, Gulaxi and Carrizo. I think we've done a good job. I think I'm done with transfers as well. I am going to put him into the starting 11. We'll put Richards here. Lang out. And there goes Carrizo. This season, we've got a bit of squad depth as well. Let's try and putting a development plan on our brand new centre-back. Where's Carrizo? There he is. Let's put maybe Stopper. Stopper's a good one. Oh, wait. No. Sweeper. 22 weeks. He'll be growing in a better place. Left-footed as well. With that, we're done with transfers. We can now focus on the championship. I want to keep the progress fast, guys. So what I'm thinking we'll do is... We'll, we'll literally sim all the way up until December. And... I'll play maybe the game against Stoke City because why not? So let's see where we'll be in December. I'm hoping we'll be like fighting for like automatic promotion. I think the team is good enough for that. We're done with transfers. Let's see how this team fares with an 85 rated keeper. I'm expecting a strong, strong position to be in. Well, we're already taking 2 nil else. Like we just lost to Middlesbrough. That's what's up, guys. We're in the fight for automatic promotion in second spot after 22 games. I like the look of that. Don't think we need to play against Stoke because they're struggling in 17th. Let's maybe play a team that are around us. Wouldn't mind playing Fulham. Actually, Bournemouth's like the only tough game left. So, like, in December. So, we'll play that instead. All right. So, look at that. We simmed a fair few more games. The gap between us and Brighton is up. But, of course, Fulham are running away with it right now. We're going to be playing Bournemouth. I want to see the growth. Look at this. Blake Bolton halfway through the season. Up to an 89. Jack Diamond growing well.
well as these growing well. Carrizo up by one. Liking it, boys. All the new signings growing and everything. Superb to see Armstrong up to a 70 as well. That's great, man. That's that's absolutely fantastic. Well, time to play a game with this team that we've built. I'm actually super excited to use the likes of Carrizo, Sigulaxi in action. Let's get into it. Oh, Jack Diamond, so intelligent. I knew that challenge was coming. And another one comes and I got taken out there. Oh my God, how is that not a pen? Oh, here we go. Blake Bolton looking for Jack Diamond. Cut back. <laughs> Again, Jack Diamond, poor guy, is getting absolutely floored in this game. Danny Ceballos. Oh, that's a smart ball for Blake Bolton. Couldn't get there. Danny Ceballos, by the way, had a two-month-long injury. Good thing is he's recovered from that and we can use him now, but... Gulaxi, that's when an 85 rated keeper gets you. Lovely save. And Carrizo putting in some nice challenges, but we feel like we've been pushed back like completely in this game right now. Chance? Gulaxi with another save. Oh, here we go. Look at the space. Your power. I don't get this, man. That's got to be like a yellow card. You could make arguments for the red card too. Like, such a cynical challenge. Like, I just don't get it. Wow. Here we go, Blake Bolden. Space on the left side for Jack Diamond. He puts it back in. Header. Lovely goal. Let's go. Ray Menage's header puts us into the lead in this one. 1-0. One I like this signing, man. He's a very, very solid striker to have. Like, there's the job. In fact, he's been scoring more than Blake Bolden, surprisingly. But, yeah. Fantastic goal. Aziz. Blake Bolton. He's on it. Now Ceballos, oh he's running through, he's running through, he is running through, this could be another goal for us, why did I pass it out there, that was so stupid for me, sometimes I should just go for goal. Now the Argentinian Carrizo, I'm liking him a lot guys, he, he seems like he's got a bit of personality, love it, good signing I think. Oh they've broken through, they've broken through but Bernard, good job. Chaos, but we get it away. Oh, that's nice. Blake Bolton's got a chance as well, and he puts it in. I was going to start criticizing him, man, because I feel like I don't score enough goals with him. But there you go. Blake Bolton banks that one home. 2-0. This should be a simple victory now. Okay, we've just given the ball away stupidly, but Gulaxi is a king. What a save again. Look at that, guys. He saves everything. Sticks his hand out. Brilliant. Oh, I'm sending Raymond Arch through, and he could be scoring another goal here. Raymond Art seems to be in the mood, goes for the finesse shot, slots it home so easily. He deserves that number nine. I think this game just shows that we've built the perfect squad to win the championship, and that's great. I think I'm just going to sit this game out, man. Like, we've, we've done the job, we've built the team, and it's a 3-0 win. Good way to just see how the players are playing, and I, I absolutely love everything. I am going to now sim all the way up until the 1st of January. We do win that. No, we draw that game. That's an L. But I do want to see our position in the championship and the stats of everyone. We're second, seven points off the top. Fulham have just been perfect, man. Annoying, but it is what it is. Stats-wise, what are we looking at? I want to see some big numbers. Blake Bolton, top scorer, and I'm not even surprised. Ray Monarch, I think he was the signing of the summer. Like, to get him for free, unreal. Armstrong did done well. Power done well so stats wise everybody has had a big contribution next episode by the way liverpool in the fa cup that's gonna be fun playing a premier league club don't you forget transfer window is back don't know what we can actually do with this money but we'll see we'll see maybe a free agent signing or something is possible we don't know we'll have to see we'll have to wait and watch but halfway through this season it's looking very likely we make it to the premier league next season so i'll catch you guys in the next episode for that peace